Hi, I'm Chef Rafael. Today I'll be showing you how to make carrot and cumin soup. It's a soup that you can enjoy on a very cold day and it's also very fresh when you have it even on a warm day. I hope you learned something. Let's get started. So this show is all about making you a better home cook and if you're new to the show subscribe to the channel so that you're notified whenever I have a new episode. For the ingredients we need carrots, cumin seeds, now the cumin seeds will give you more flavor as opposed to using cumin powder, uh, some garlic. Now to make it more spicy I'll add um, chili flakes, this is optional, some onion, this is one and a half onion and salt. Now we'll start with the um, frying of the onions. We'll also start with a little bit of um, cooking oil. I'll add the onion, one and a half onion. I'll also add the garlic at this stage. This is about three cloves of garlic. But while this is cooking, I'll cut the carrots. And now as the onion starts to become soft, I'll add the cumin seeds. This is about uh, two teaspoons or about one and a half teaspoons of uh, cumin. Now, if you don't have the cumin or you don't like cumin, you can also do the same procedure and uh, have some ginger and then call it carrot and ginger soup. So simply cut them into small pieces and uh, add them together with the onion and garlic. And also, as you can see, I haven't peeled my carrots. It's also optional. Um, and all you need to do is clean them very well and then add, cut them as they are. But you can also peel them if that's what you prefer. So now for the carrots, you want to cook them for about another two minutes. We're just frying them together with the onion. You want all the flavors to come together. I'll also add some chili flakes, which is optional, to make it a little bit spicy. Mind you, you don't also want to make it too, the, the spice to be, the chili to be too much, because we want to enjoy the carrot and the cumin flavor. So, and salt. So at this stage that I'll add now the water. Now how much water is enough is until it just covers the carrots. So the idea is to bring it to a boil and you can do that by covering. And then when it starts boiling, you reduce the heat. It will slowly cook until the carrots are soft. So now the soup is ready. It took about 12, 15 minutes. The idea is to wait for it to cool down, let's say about five minutes, and then you pour the uh, soup into the blender. So yeah, we, we return the soup. Uh, you can either do this, you can either put the soup in a bowl and then when once you blend, you return it to the, to the pot or just set it aside if you had done it in two batches. Get some water and then I'll rinse out whatever is inside here and then pour it back to the soup. And this is why we need also to return it to the fire because we want the soup to be, to have the right consistency and also the heat to come back up. The soup is actually nice, it's tasty. I can taste the chili, the salt is enough. It's again still a little bit too thick for me for what the consistency i need so again i'll add a little bit more water bring it back to a, a simmer and then turn off the heat so soup is ready it's now time to serve now 
that soup is usually um, had with um, either as a, by itself or with some bread as a starter. It actually can also be a meal, so depending on how much you want, because you can consider this it's a complete meal because it has um, vegetables, especially when you have it with bread. Um, and then now to finish it off, now whatever will make it so interesting is actually adding a dollop of um, yogurt. When you're having it, you just need to stir into the soup and it will have a rich, creamier and um, the contrast of the tartness of the yogurt and the sweetness of the, of the carrot will make that nice combination. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, I'm your host, Chef Raphael. Goodbye.